हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड आफ्टरनून यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस यूनिट वन गुड मॉर्निंग इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस यूनिट वन गुड मॉर्निंग पोएम टाइटल वॉज गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वी हैव गोन थ्रू द पोएम अगेन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एंड देन वी विल गो फॉर आवर एक्सरसाइज okay 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 students that is fine for you i hope that is fine for you okay okay so what is good morning what here we studied good morning sky good morning sun a child is telling wishing good morning to sky sun wind bird tree creeping grass brownie bees all of them he, he or she the child is wishing good morning how did you find out it weird it was a day who told you night had gone away i am wide awake i am up now too i will be right out to play with you so in this uh, poem that child is telling that uh, it is now day night is gone please i um, mean you be should wake and we will go out for a play like that way telling in a poem okay and uh, what was the moral moral we understood that uh, we should wake up early morning and we should uh, wish all of the family members and friends all of them we should wish a good morning okay and a few new words we have learned creeping away gone away creeping means slowly growing like grass creeping grass means slowly growing grass awake when you wake up that is the awake gone away someone is about to leave that is gone away someone left that is we can say it gone away a few new words we have learned and we have understood the moral of the poem i have explained whole poem so today we are going to do our exercises reading is fun okay the first question is why is a child in the poem happy why is the child in the poem happy in poem one child is there why is happy why is a child in the poem happy so i will write down the so before i write down the answer why child was happy because it is morning correct because it was a morning now and night was gone night is over and therefore what she can do she can talk to the sky tree bees etc and she can wish them good morning okay so why is the child in the poem happy the child in, is happy because it is a morning now and night is over therefore she can talk with the sky trees bees etc okay so i'll write down the answer here see here i have prepared some views good morning we are going chapter 1 good morning we are going to do some exercise and here i wrote the first question okay in that i am writing the answer okay so please remember this answer and remember the solution of this uh, question the child is in the poem is happy the child in the poem 
is is happy because it is morning now because it is morning now and the night is over and the night is over therefore what we can say therefore therefore she can talk she can talk with the sky the sun trees bees etc okay i will enlarge the text here you can read this the child in the poem is happy because it is morning now and the night is over okay the night is over therefore she can talk with the sky trees the sun bees etc that's why child in the poem is happy okay now what was what is the next question you understood this uh, pro problem okay again i will explain why is the child in a poem happy so we understood the meaning of a poem and the moral of the poem so the child in the poem is happy because it is morning now and the night is over therefore she can talk with the sky the sun trees bees etc she can wish them good morning that's why the child is happy in the poem now we will go for a next question to whom does the child say good morning we try to remember to whom a child is uh, telling good morning okay i will answer that the child says good morning to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass and bees here in poem or also you can see child is telling good morning to sky sun wind birds trees creeping grass brownie bees all are there okay so we can say that the child says good morning to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass and bees so i'll write down the answer again okay okay so here you see i have wrote already what is the child is to whom does the child says good morning so i'll write down the answer the child answer okay the child says good morning the child says good morning to the sky first child is wishing to the sky then the sun wishing to the sun then it is child is wishing to the wind birds then trees grass and bees okay the child is wishing morning to the sky the sun wind bird tree sorry here it's a tree okay trees grass and bees 
okay so the child says good morning to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass and bees what child does to whom child to whom does the child says good morning the child says good morning to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass and bees okay now we will see the next question what does the child want to do when child woke up in the morning so after getting fresh and uh, wearing the new clothes what does child want to do so in poem we see the child want to play with the uh, birds and bees to all of them child wants to play out so i will be right out to play with you the child is telling child wants to play with the birds and bees okay so i will write down uh, again what does the child wants to do okay i will write down the answer answer so the ch- what does the child want to do the child wants to play with the birds and bees and etc so i will write down the child wants to play play out in the in the company of the sky wind birds bees etc okay what to what does the child want to do in the morning the child wants to play out in the company of the sky wind birds bees etc so child wants to play with the sky wind birds bees etc child want to play with this all the things the sky wind birds bees with them child wants to play okay student okay now we will see next part that is a talk time what is the talk time okay so in the morning i say good morning at a night i say good night a dog says bow wow a cow says mo mo okay so these all the things we do see in the morning you wishes the god good morning to all in a night while sleeping you wish the your family members to good night you heard the dog was barking bow wow and cow also says bong mo mo like that okay say good morning in your own language to your friend and your teacher so how you can do this how you will wish your friend and teacher good morning okay so you know you can do this for example how you can write you need to write down your in your way in your word this answer okay you should do it this thing to yourself okay and the second point is how would you wish them when you leave in the leave school in the evening when you leave the school in the evening when we are leave, going to home how you will wish them your teacher and friend so that also answer you you write it down in your word i will give you here i will write down in my way okay i will give the so answer for those question 
here I already write down this so let me explain the answer so for this suppose you are there and you are wishing to your friends so for first answer so I will write down answer here answer for first question answer for first okay how you will wish good morning to your friends that we will see okay so how you can wish them you will say I say you can write like that I say good morning good morning whichever your friend name here you can write after this good morning you can write your friend name suppose I am telling to my friend Hardik is there or uh, any other person is there I will write down Hardik okay I am wishing my friend Hardik to good morning you can write down your friend name there okay if your friend name Parul is there Raju is there Ramesh is there or any name Murli is there any name is there you can write down that how you can wish your friend you will say good morning Hardik good morning Parul good morning Raju good morning morning uh, Murli so I say good morning Hardik okay you can write down in the place of Hardik your friend names okay now I will write down the second answer how you will wish to your teacher in your language this this is your work how you can write this is I am giving example to you how you can write you have to do it yourself okay how you can wish your teacher I say I say double quotation. I say good morning, man, or good morning, sir, like that way. Good morning, man. Okay. You can write down in this way, ma'am, or you can write down in this place as a sir also. Any preferable word to you, or a good morning, Ramesh sir, good morning, Sanjay sir. Any name is there, you can write it down here. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Any ma'am is there, good morning, Nikita ma'am. Good morning, Parul ma'am. Any, anything you can write down here in a place of sir so what are the answer for this I say good morning Hardi that is Hardi in place of Hardi you should write your friend's name in when you wish to teacher I say good morning sir or good morning ma'am or you can talk, say with the name like a Parul ma'am good morning Parul ma'am like that good morning Sanjay sir anyway you can write it down okay so next question is who would you wish them when you leave school in the evening this is also you have to do it yourself but I will explain this thing to you again okay again I will explain this thing to you that is fine for you okay or you can do Okay, anyway, I will write down the answer here also. Okay, so I am going to write down in next slide the answer. How would you wish them when you leave school in the evening? Okay, so I am writing down your answer for this question let's say when I leave school 
when I leave school, I say, when I leave school, what I say? I say, I say goodbye. You say goodbye to your friend, correct? Goodbye, friends. You say goodbye, friends, to all of my friends. To all my friends. Friends, correct? You say to all of your friends, goodbye friends and to teacher what you say? I say, I say, good bye ma'am to my teacher. Okay, what do you say to your teacher or ma'am or sir? What do you say? Goodbye ma'am. Okay, so this answer of the question is when you leave school to your friend, what do you say? Goodbye friends and to teacher or madam, what do you say? Goodbye ma'am. Okay, so these are the answer for this how would you wish this thing you can write it in your own word also but this is the proper way you can write the answer okay i say good morning ardik or your friend name is there you can write it down there or madam or sir or here will so you can write down the ma'am or teacher how you wish your teachers goodbye teacher goodbye ma'am goodbye sir like that way okay so now i would say word building let's say aloud read the question first okay Did you read this question? Okay. I hope you uh, read it. Find words in the poem which rhyme with bees. Space day, blank space two, and blank space. Okay. Okay. So I will write down the filling the blank answer in here. So. Let me write it down first. This thing, same question, I will write down first, leaving the blank. Find words in the poem which rhyme, rhyme with. Bees. Then I will leave some blank space. Okay. Let uh, write down. I am filling, giving some blank space there. And day. Then blank space. Then two. Then blank space. Okay. So we need to write down this word. 
okay student so how what are the answer so let's see the poem first then we will fill the those answer so here what is the our first is the bees okay so bees trees bees trees that is kind of rhyme okay day away see here i will mark it down here also trees and bees trees bees trees bees it's kind of rhyme day away day away day away that is also kind of rhyme to you if you see here to you that is one kind of a rhyming word is there the our uh, writer poem who penny r buchman has used this kind of word to rhyme the poem so trees bees day away to you okay so what is the our answer here so first is a uh, bees then we can write it down here as a in a different color i will write it down bees then what is the answer is a trees okay and days then will come away what is the answer here away and the last what will be coming to you okay so student we have seen here find word in the poem which rhyme with bees day to okay so find word in the poem which rhyme with bees day day away to you so we find out the answer bees trees day away to you that is the rhyming with the poem correct and the last question is what do you see around you during the day and night draw in the two box given below and color the picture so what you guys, student need to do here so this is the blank box are there so you have to draw something here okay suppose a sun is there okay and you are you can draw sun here in a day sun and light anything you can draw here in a night you can draw something like suppose here day is there so you are drawing like this way sun or you can uh, draw some uh, trees here and in a night you can draw here one uh, moon which is white color like any color is there you can draw it okay suppose it is a color of uh, white okay let's say it's white uh, where it is okay okay i will change this color a little bit different okay fill color to little bit gray so here suppose you are drawing a moon then draw some stars in the night what you see whatever you see in the night and in the day draw those thing and fill with color this you have to do okay and the next you can write down this two word what you have seen in your regular life in a day time what you see and in a night time what you see you have to write down these two words what you see like what i will say in a day time you see sun correct day time you see sunlight chirping birds birds are cheering that you can see in a night you can see moonlight and uh, in the night you can see bird like uh, birds are sleeping or you can write down a star and moon or you can write down sun uh, sun and uh, cheering birds in a day so these answer you you need to write down okay so today we almost finished our uh, exercise team time and song time we will do in our next lecture and uh, we will revise the in next lecture we will revise whole poem with exercise okay student so please see the video properly see the answer what i given for each question why is the child in the poem happy 
and next question to whom does the child say good morning what does the child want to do so this question you can easily answer if you under, if, if you have understood the poem so if you haven't understood the poem please go in previous lecture and again understand it then come back to the exercise again and then read uh, this uh, exercise what you have what we have done what says in a poem and what we wrote it here in a solution okay and uh, how you wish to your parents or your friends or your teacher you write down in your words okay and while you live in a school in a, your regular life what how you wish to your friends and your teachers that you write down here and uh, find try to find rhymes word in the poem like be trees day away to you that kind of word try to find these words are there then here you draw something in a daytime whatever you see in a nighttime whatever you see you try to draw it and in a daytime what you see those two thing you not down here in night also what you see you not down here these two words you write down in a spelling okay student please read and do this exercise please read the poem understand the poem we'll finish our uh, remaining uh, singing time and all the exercise in our uh, book talk time we have seen team time and song time we will see in our next lecture next period and we will again go through whole poem and exercise okay student then finish and do homework please find back homework in our po portal and do that homework Okay thank you bye